Welcome everyone to the Cosmos SDK community call. This is the first one um, where we'll be transitioning to a monthly call instead of a bi-weekly call. The team just felt like um, there wasn't a high amount of engagement um, and there was not enough topics to discuss on a bi-weekly basis, especially around times where we want to do releases and everyone's kind of in audit mode and there's uh, research and work going on that um, we just wanted to decide to move to monthly, but if we uh, see that monthly becomes not enough, um, then we'll revert back to biweekly. Yes, Gavin, you had a question. Uh, yeah, I like just a suggestion, having a default monthly to keep the cadence up, and then when like something exciting is happening, or you can just like have a topic specific call or something like that might be a good way to do it. Exactly, exactly. Like we do. Um, so I'm hoping in the future, there's like a couple things in the work right now, but a couple working groups. Um, and so um, I'll, I'll run over them and what is starting up. And also uh, I think the working groups are kind of like the breakout sessions of these. Um, and we try and like uh, update everyone within the call. And then like people, a lot of people end up joining the working group calls to discuss things. Um, and so it is uh, ends up working out pretty well. But um, so today uh, on the agenda, I had like a Starship demo. Um, and then, uh, but unfortunately, uh, well, fortunately it's Awesome Awesome here in Berlin um, and the, the Starship team is at Awesome Awesome. And so they would, they um, asked if we can push it to the next call. Um, and the next call was uh, supposed to be uh, Polymer talking about the research that they're doing on ZK IVC and just uh, ZK tree and uh, just everything that they're working on. So we'll probably push that out. Um, a bit further just because they're also at Awesome Awesome. Um, and so it's just a bit, uh, this week was a bit harder to schedule everyone on the right time. But so today, um, most likely will be a short call. So um, just gave the update on switching to monthly. I uh, want to give some Eden updates and just like get feedback from the community on what on what the thoughts there on like timelines. Um, there's been a few changes there. And then I uh, want to update everyone on the upcoming working groups um, and if people want to join. So a small shout out. Um, I gave a talk on Tuesday, which really went over the past, present, and future of the Cosmos SDK. Um, I highly encourage people to watch it. I will also be turning it into a blog post on like just the general direction for the rest of the year and leading into 2024. Um, so people have an idea of what is being worked on and also how to join and participate. Um, I did mention in the call that like the Cosmos SDK isn't a single team. Um, it's really everyone here and beyond this call who's uh, participating, contributing, and design architecture and implementation. So thank you to everyone who's been participating during the calls or just participating in code review, code uh, implementation, design architecture. Um, so Eden timelines. Um, so I was talking with the IBC team. IBC team is working on our very anticipated feature, which is uh, channel upgradability of IBC channels. And so uh, they, we were really pressing on getting V50 with V38 um, into, like, out as soon as possible just to get in front of users' hands so they can start upgrading. The IBC team um, doesn't, doesn't want to do a V8 right away and then like a month later do V9, which is channel upgradability, um, because this will kind of uh, slow down integration times for their V9 uh, if they were to do that. So uh, they asked if we can uh, delay the release by a couple weeks um, so we can have a cohesive release with IBC Go and Cosmosm. Um, this doesn't mean that like we're gonna stop doing our audits and QA. So we're close to wrapping up QA, um, everything's been uh, super good. We found uh, one or two bugs, but they were minor. Um, and we found a design, um, a design uh, change. We did a design change with load extensions um, after some testing that uh, was done. And, and so we're still working and we'll wrap up the audits uh, most likely this week or the next week. And then a few of us will do test nets. We're doing a lot of profiling and optimizations. The audits took a bit longer just because uh, the code changes were a lot larger. Um, there's a meaningful amount of refactoring. So I apologize to everyone who's uh, gonna get on the tail end of that, but do please reach out when updating to V50. It also helps us keep track of who's updating um, and then we can also assist you with the upgrade, answer any questions 
you might have. Um, there was like, we are uh, not sneaking in, but adding some minor cleanups, um, working with the Verichain team, they mentioned that uh, we thought we, well, I was removing the BEC32 prefixes, um, and we thought that we removed the account ones, but there were some hidden ones in a few function calls. And so we're just uh, cleaning that up in order to, for chains like the bear chain and Polaris can use a different ac account scheme than BEC32 for their chain. Um, so that's another feature that will be added. Um, the Julian's heavy, heavily wrapping up auto CLI for queries. And then he's working on transactions. So Hubble will have transaction support in the near future. Um, things that are picking up. Uh, so does anyone have any questions or uh, considerations for the Eden work um, just before I move on? A quick question. I believe I know the answer to it, but Eden brings into play the like massive store improvements, right? Yeah. So Eden includes a node key refactor of IVL. Um, we've been running it on Juno for a couple of weeks now, and uh, we're going to work on running it on the DYDX chain just to observe. So we're going to have two nodes, and we're going to be playing around with both nodes um, and profiling just to see the differences. We've been talking to the injective team just because we know that they do a lot of um, fancy stuff with the IBL and the cache KV store just to observe that. Osmosis, we were thinking of doing it, but Osmosis is uh, on a fork of the SDK, so it's a bit harder. That is like um, pretty far off from the SDK, so it's a bit harder to get the changes in there. Um, and so we're going to hold off on that one for a bit longer. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's been exciting. We're definitely less I.O. because we definitely we have like less disk crashing. Queries have gotten faster. Um, and we added a few secondary indexes that will happen lazily. Um, and so this will also help queries like the infamous validator delegations query that was abysmally slow is now much, much more performant. Oh, that's fantastic. That, I mean, that I think that's going to have a serious impact on the um, RPC uptime across all of Cosmos. Yeah. Um, definitely hoping can I ask um, that will. Yeah. Oh, uh, just a quick Osmo specific question. So it can work with 45 um, if, if one were to do the code for it? Yeah. Um, so the, we are running it on Juno, which is using 45. I can, I can send the branch to you um, if you want to um, play around with it so you know what changes are needed. Dude, yeah, please, and thank you. That's great. So yeah, we want to get in the habit of um, like testing out as many features as we can at the core layer in, uh, on mainnets. So what does that mean? Um, basically, we want to be able to, uh, like any store changes that we make, run it on mainnet before final release. The runtime work that we're about to start, we want to run, we want to get it, we want to be able, we want the ability to be able to try and run these things on mainnets before final releases, just so we can get testing profiles and just like get better understanding um, of how things work in the wild, just because running closed test nets is, is fun, um, but it doesn't give us the real world scenarios of what is going on. Totally correct. That uh, that's kudos and congratulations and thanks. Awesome, awesome. Um, anyone else have any questions about Eden? Awesome, done so far. Um, so the update on upcoming working groups. So uh, there's a couple of working groups started starting. Um, Specifically, uh, there's going to be two, um, with hopefully one wrapping up uh, pretty soon. And the first one is uh, the runtime working group to basically really uh, hone in on the base app refactor. Um, we want to be able to allow uh, users to use uh, ABCI and potentially other things if they do please. Like we want to really make the library. Um, to be to use like different header structures. There's a few users who've been asking us uh, asking us in comment for different header structures. Um, Comet's also working towards this. Um, we've been talking with them about it um, on a trajectory on like how to get both our both our softwares to the point where it can be really used um, in a much more granular fashion. 
than what it can be used today. And so like refactoring that, refactoring server, client, all these layers, um, and making it just more modular in general. That's starting on July 20th, so seven days from now. And I believe the time is 3 CET. Let me just double check. Yeah, 3 CET on Thursdays. Um, so if anyone wants to join, definitely just shoot me a message. Uh, we're happy to have everyone. Um, the more the merrier, just so we can understand everyone's use cases. The next working group that's also going to uh, pick up in, I believe, a week or two is the storage working group. So uh, we're refactoring storage or rewriting storage, storage v2, into a separation of storage and commitment. And uh, the goal here is to basically fix everything related to storage in the SDK. Um, I know it's very ambitious, but uh, we're very confident and the team is very excited to like get this going just because they've also had pain points with working with nodes. Um, we've been playing with a lot more um, nodes and their data structures to get data out to learn things. And um, we've, we've had a team member who's been running into lots of walls or needing to paralyze um, the hell out of something to be able to get it in a timely fashion. And so we're really excited about that. Um, we've been working with the Kronos team and the Crypt.com team for a lot of this, and it's been a ton of fun. Um, so that's those are the two that are really starting up. And the next one would be uh, the accounts working group, so the account abstraction work. The, we've been working with wallets over the past couple um, weeks, um, especially Kepler. Um, Josh from Kepler has been uh, really excited about the upcoming accounts module um, and the RFC is open in the repo. We've been working with Agoric, Providence, um, Skip, uh, Cosmology, and then talking with uh, Kepler, Leap Wallet, Cosmos Station, and others about the design and about considerations. The exciting thing here is uh, we're going to resurrect the CIP repo, so the SIPS repo in the Cosmos org, and we hope that this can be like a central point for uh, users to propose different account interfaces to be used, um, to be adopted. So we, um, there's already one um, in, a, in a Google Doc that we're going to transfer to the CIP, but we want to come up with a multi-sig one, a uh, governance one, and so on, just because you can really play with different governance designs with the accounts module. You no longer have to be cut, tied down to a single job module. Um, and so, uh, and so those are those are the three working groups. That the the third one is going to start moving to a uh, biweekly or monthly one, just because the implementation is started and near completion already. And so uh, so that one's going on well. Um, and those are the main two working groups that we want to start. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't have just because uh, I was planning on having speakers today. I didn't plan too much beyond just uh, simple updates for people. But if anyone has any questions or any topics that they want to discuss, please give us a shout right now and we can discuss it. So the first meeting you mentioned, like before the storage group, what was that? The runtime uh, runtime modules working group. Um, this mm. would be kind of like a refactor of the core layer. So a refactor of base app, and um, some of the interfaces between things, potentially refactors of server and client and those packages as well. OK, thanks. Awesome, awesome. If there's nothing else, um, then we can end the call a bit early. Um, validators can get to upgrading their Osmosis validators. Um, and for the highly anticipated V16. And then everyone who's in Berlin, um, I'll see you later tonight at Awesome Awesome. Have a good one. Awesome, guys. Thanks again. Ciao, Bye -bye. Ciao. Thank you.